Joe, welcome back. For the first time, we'll see you at Shatin on Sunday. How was the off-season? How are you? Uh, it was good. We all needed that. We need a break. We need to freshen up. And um, I took every opportunity I, I, I had to make good of it. I mean, to, to enjoy myself, rest, be with the people that I wanted to be, family, kids. We've done some celebrations there. Some kids were having their birthdays and uh, all, all the memories I have up here on my mind at the moment of the off season is, is great. So it's a shame that it's over. <laughs> we'll talk about the injuries in a minute, but first the mental side of going away and getting away from Hong Kong and just riding all the time. Just how important is that? It is very important human beings have their time off, you know? Uh, that's a way of making sure that you last long. Not that it's going to make you last forever, but that's going to make sure you are able to extend your career as an athlete for as long as you can. So this, this break I had no doubt has made me fresh, not just physically, but psychologically as well. So talk to us about the injuries. I know last season was hard for you. Just explain what you're going through right now and also what was last season like? Well, cut it very short, I was, I was, I can say that I was under severe pain for probably 16 months. Uh, the Jockey Club's doctor has done their very best to help me out and treat me, but uh, that is so much that I could have done, and I no doubt finished the season under so much pain. So the off-season, uh, I took a chance to make sure I look after myself. I, I sank for medical help, which I was able to get some pretty good ones, you know. Of course, some of the news I've got were not the ones that I wanted, but um, uh, at least we got them so we could get on top of it and make sure that we do the best we could. Um, the treatment I've done, no doubt, has put me now, not 100% quite yet, but very close to it. And I guess after another two weeks, I will be 100%. And um, it, there, there'll, be, there'll be some other medical treatment that I might need to still do, which uh, will help me to get to that 100% that I've mentioned about. Um, but. Dog, to be very honest, and where I am right now, uh, I can put back this smile on my face and get out there at the track on the horse's back and enjoy it. Because it's very difficult for you to enjoy, uh, even if you love what you do, if you are under pain. But recently I, I've been on the horse's back and just being able to move and get my, my position sick properly and not being under so much pain that is already able to, to get me back to... to uh, the happiness and the enjoyment. How nervous have you been leading into the season with all those injuries? I mean, we've had a couple of days of track work since you've been back. I mean, are there nerves with the body going forward to the new season? I mean, it must play on your mind. It does play, always. Uh, I, I just said it's very difficult if you want to pain to be able to get, get out there and enjoy it, you know? Not that this is sport or ho the interacting with the horse is not enjoyable. I would say the other way around. I just love it so much. But to be honest, in the last 10 months, it was very hard for me to get out there and be really enjoying it uh, as I was so, under so much pain. But today, I can say that I, I'm quite excited. I'm very happy and I hopefully I can go through to the motion for the start of the season and, and get back to my normal routine, normal rhythm and get my winners. How would you rate your season last season in terms of your own riding? I mean, give us a mark, roughly out of 10. How, how well do you think you were riding? Eight out of 10. And uh, I was able to perform higher than that before. I'm very conscious about it. And I might have mentioned that to some, some close friends and this and that. But, you know, that is things that is not under your control. Uh, and even though if you put your mind on it and you want to work on, on top of the issues that you're dealing with, sometimes you just can't fix them like this, you know? You just have to go through the motion and, and pull up with that. And I guess it's, it's, it's um, most of the athletes around the world go through to this. I mean, they get injuries, they get so muscle, they get pain, and they have ups and downs in their career. No doubt that I've dropped my form a little bit, in, especially at the, at the end of the last season, which affects me quite a lot. But we can go back in time and change what happened, but we can make sure we change the future. And no doubt that I'm aiming for the future some up, up highs. 
some up hires than I had just recently. So talk to me about the future. What are your goals this season? Zach now has five championships. You have four. Is this what is keeping you motivated and, and keeping you going? Initially talking about Zach, he, he, he deserves to have not just five titles. He's such a good rider that he, he would deserve many more than that. He's no doubt a person who has encouraged me, inspired me and pushed me forward. My numbers wouldn't be the same if he wasn't challenging me. And I guess his number wouldn't be the same if I wasn't there like putting pressure on him as well. So at the end of the day, we've been helping each other. People might think that we don't get along. That's not true. Uh, Zach shows me a lot of respect and it's mutual. He shows me respect I show to him. We get out there, we try to beat each other, but we can't come out of the track. We good mates. I admire him as a human being very much. And um, looking forward, no doubt that I, I'm quite excited and hoping that I can do well, but being very conscious and very sensible on, on my situation, not being physically 100% at the moment, uh, just starting off maybe a month after everybody else, uh, everyone else having a head start on, on me, so I might take a little while to build up momentum while they are already on to their momentum. So it's going to be a bit difficult, but that doesn't mean that my chances is, is not there. I will no doubt be pushing myself at, at the very best, at the very top. Hopefully I can make the season be interesting. If it depends on me, it's going to be another great season. It's going to be very good for the horse racing fans, but it doesn't depend only on me. I've been lacking off a little bit of support lately, so I've been find it difficult to give, really give him the challenge that he deserves. Uh, but no doubts that I'll be doing my very best and hopefully I can make it very interesting. Have you set yourself a specific goal this season? Is it to ride more Group 1 winners? Is it to win the championship? Is it an X number of wins? Do you set yourself personal goals? I, we, I don't, to be very honest, no. Uh, but at, at this stage, I can see that I'll be concentrating on my body so much more make sure that physically I can be well so then I can get out there and perform because it's not just a disappointment for horse racing fans to see me out there not performing at my very best it's even more to myself I feel so frustrated I feel so bad about it and I'm putting a lot of thoughts on on it hopefully I can improve physically so then I can perform better you're 38 years old now how long has Joe Moreira got left, if, if you don't mind me asking? I mean, uh, no doubt, it's, it's a question that a lot of people ask me. I would say two, two years. Okay. Two years I can last, and I'm aiming for that. So if, as we approach to two years, and then I will reassess myself, see how I feel, if I can postpone, yes, I might postpone a bit longer. But just don't forget, age is catching up, yes and I'm being under so much pain. So if I get close, close to those two years that I've mentioned about, and I, if I'm feeling the way how I was maybe three months ago, I, I can tell you maybe two years is gonna be the limit for myself.